The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of PalTalk.com, AVM Software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of PalTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users. On demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my GaryBarring.com. Somebody put that uh, link in for me, please, where you can uh, post uh, thank you, where you can post uh, your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not. No retribution. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio. We're syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. Welcome to this special Memorial Day uh, edition of News Talk Online. We are down the Jersey Shore. Uh, that's New Jersey to those of you who are uninitiated. We do not call it the New Jersey Shore, nor do we call it the New Jersey Beach. It is the Jersey Shore. We're in Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey, at a very famous joint. Now, the guy sitting to my right, your left, the good-looking one here, owns this place, and you think it's his restaurant. He'd be pissed off that I'm calling it a joint. But actually... <laughs> With affection, we call Spike's Fish Market and Restaurant in Point Pleasant Beach a joint because it has been uh, named not only the best seafood joint in New Jersey, but the best seafood joint on the entire East Coast. And that includes up in Rhode Island, that includes Massachusetts, that includes Maryland, known for its crab cakes. Yes, we have. How, how the hell did that happen? Um, be honest with you. Did I, I never... say your name was Steve Weinstein? <laughs> Steve Weinstein. Sorry if I didn't say that. Be honest, I never know until after the fact that we've been reviewed. So right. I had some customers come in and tell me that they saw in Coastal Living that we had been rated the number one seafood dive in New Jersey this time. And dive, not your dive. I saw it. That's Semantics. I elevated you from a dive to a joint, Thank you, and so. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. <laughs> and in the past, we've gotten uh, the East Coast mm -hmm. for uh, several years, actually. And actually, USA Today rated USA you. USA Today rated us top ten family friendly in the United States. And this is a family friendly dive here in <laughs> in uh, Point Pleasant Beach, uh, New Jersey. And you know, it's interesting. People, of course, uh, Steve, are very much concerned about the economy. They don't want to spend a lot of money. And I've noticed that all up and down the Jersey Shore, it's all Jersey and uh, Pennsylvania and New York plates. You don't see very many uh, license plates from far afield any longer. No, but fortunately, I, I believe on the day trips, you're seeing a good amount of people. I think people are staying home. I think they're calculating a tank of gas and finding places that they can do a round trip and a tank of gas, as opposed to going some places for a week or two weeks or going to Europe. So hopefully we're going to have a great year down the shore, as you call it, and as we call it, Yes. Um, this summer. You know, uh, not to denigrate some of your competitors, and we kind of went for a walk and uh, stopped in at a couple of other places, and some of them were really rocking and rolling, but some of them... They're sitting there, and there ain't nobody there. So I guess in this business, with this, if you really want to succeed, you not only great. Oh, we're all about the product. If you came here looking for white table clothes, forget it. You came to the wrong place. Right. But if you come looking for, we consider the best seafood on the East Coast. We really do. The best seafood in New Jersey. Our stuff is fresh. We're one of the few people licensed to buy directly off of the boats, and we do. And, and the boats are markets. docked right behind here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so we keep the quality of what we do very high, and we let that talk for us. My chef, I'm just a front man. Yeah. It's all about the chef. It's all about the good seafood, and I'm fortunate enough to be in the middle of both of them. Let, let, let's show people one of your uh, one of your dishes here that I'm going to dive into, ultimately. And Look at this. See this? This is called the Neptune's Nest. Um, we take a uh, Italian button bread and hollow it out, and we have pretty much any kind of seafood you can think of: uh, lobster tails, dry scallops, mussels, clams, shrimp, all done in a garlic cream sauce. 
put back into the bread, so it soaks into the bread so you have something additional to have, and we serve it with the garlic mashed potatoes. Uh, those flowers are just decorative, right? No, they're not. Of course, it's spikes. They're edible. <laughs> there you go. It's very edible, and probably... Uh, I could say shortly after the show that Gary finally has muscles. Yes, so, he, does. Yes, he does. <laughs> so are, are, are you hopeful then that uh, this is going to be a good season? I mean, this is the kickoff. You, you're, you're crowded here. Yes, uh, we're really looking for a good year. Uh, we've been very lucky. The beginning of the year has been good. The winter treated us pretty well. And again, this place has been here a long, long time. And let's talk about the history of uh, Spikes. Uh, it's named after somebody who's somebody famous. Somebody famous. For all of you baseball fans, if you know who Casey Stengel was, Casey Stengel's brother was Spike Stengel. And Spike Stengel, with a man by the name of Layton, opened this up in 1926, 83 years ago. And they opened it up as a fish market, eventually to a shucking bar, and eventually cut up the original shucking bar into tables. Which we actually still have a few of the tables and chairs from the original, and then oh, I replicated, shucks. and I replicated the rest of them, <laughs> and it's expanded. We call it our new section. It's only about 50 years old. Oh, I see. That's the, the new, new section. side of the restaurant. And now, do people still come from New York uh, here? We have people traveling two, two and a half, three hours to come for dinner. We also have a crowd that come from North Jersey. I have a lot of Bergen County people who will come down here take our soups to go because everything that we do in a restaurant we do to go also mm. everything you won't mm. say no soup for you no soup for you <laughs> <laughs> uh, jerry seinfeld got that one, that's so right I couldn't do it but um, they'll come and they'll drive several hours get a couple quarts of soup and get back in the car and take off well i will tell you that a uh, friend of mine introduced me to uh, spikes and i just uh, flipped out over your food and that's why we're back here doing the show from here and it's greatly appreciated it oh, really is we appreciate it. steve thanks for uh, being a great host thank you very much I'll okay enjoy the neptune's nest oh i will i will in fact we're going to end the show right now early so that i can eat the food so, <laughs> right here at spikes uh, yeah, on a more serious note um, uh, before we get into the issue of the um, nuclear test in um, North Korea. Uh, let's not lose sight of the fact that while we all here in the United States go out and we barbecue, we go down the shore, we go to the beach, uh, we go to restaurants to enjoy um, the, the Memorial Day holiday, let's not lose sight of the fact that this holiday is to remember those who have died uh, fighting for our freedoms. And I know it's a U.S. holiday, but it extends to those who died uh, elsewhere around the world. And we have people right now in harm's way, and we should stop for a moment to think about those individuals and um, thank them uh, for what they are doing for us. And remember, uh, in particular, the veterans of World War II. You know, um, they are all dying off right now. Uh, the ones who survived the war, and uh, they were an unsung generation, uh, as far as I'm concerned. They went and 